Have you ever pondered the true significance of not just hearing God's word, but also living according to it? One might argue that the essence of faith is not merely in listening to holy scriptures, but in translating those teachings into daily actions. A passage from the book of James beautifully encapsulates this idea. It urges us to be not only listeners of the word, but also doers, acting in accordance with its teachings. Hearing the word without acting upon it is likened to a person who looks at his own face in a mirror and upon leaving, immediately forgets what he looks like. A striking metaphor, isn't it? It shows the futility of knowledge without application, of hearing without doing. This passage goes further to speak of the man who looks intently into the perfect law, the law that gives freedom. This man, who not only hears the word but abides by it, is declared blessed in his actions. This is a clear call to study the word, understand it and live by it, for therein lies true freedom and blessing. So what have we unraveled today? First, the necessity of not just hearing God's word, but being doers of the word, acting in accordance with its teachings. Second, the futility of hearing the word without acting upon it, likened to a man forgetting his own reflection. Lastly, the promise of blessing and freedom to those who study and abide by the perfect law, the law that gives freedom. This passage invites us to reflect, to examine our relationship with God's word, are we mere listeners, or do we strive to be doers, living our lives according to the teachings we receive? It challenges us to be not forgetful hearers, but effective doers, for in doing so, we experience true freedom and blessing. In sum, hearing God's word is just the beginning. Living it, doing it, that's where the real journey begins. That's where we find freedom, blessing, and ultimately our true selves. So, hear the word, study it, live it, and be blessed.